everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is another video of Beauty Week this week. If you didn't already know, I'm doing Beauty Week this week where I'm posting five videos and they're all kind of beauty related most of the time because I have done a video on my tattoo. If you haven't seen that, then I'll link it down below. And I'll also link the play the playlist for these videos as well. So today's video is kind of like my everyday makeup look. This is kind of what I would do on an everyday basis if I was just going into uni, just if I wanted something quick. I am the kind of person, this is a little disclaimer, that wants to put every single product on my face and I don't care how many stages that takes. I put a lot of products on my face. So to you, this will not be quick. It may not be simple, but to me it is. And what I mean by simple is no bright colors, not in your face, no glitter or anything like that. It's just kind of neutral and brown. So this is my kind of everyday makeup look and I'm gonna be kind of speeding you through it. It's gonna be a time lapse and sort of like a voiceover of the product. So if you've got any questions about any of the products then leave them down below in the comments. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So I start off with this primer, which is just one from Revolution. It's like a pore filling primer and I apply that overall over my face. In this video, I'm just going to kind of discuss the products. I might not remember what they are or I might not remember shades, names or anything like that, but you can, you know, research it. This is a Primark priming water and I actually really like this. It's been in many favourites videos great for underneath your makeup and then this foundation is also one from Primark I've done a whole video on this so I'll link it down below if you'd like to see how it works but I actually really like it it's quite good coverage but I don't tend to put you know too much on so yeah I use my beauty blender this is actually a real techniques beauty sponge and I'm so obsessed with this right now like honestly I cannot get enough of this I love it so much quicker to do my makeup than using a brush and I never thought that I would say that it does give a slightly lighter coverage though than a brush, so obviously you have to take that into account when you're gonna be using it. Then I'm using this Revolution foundation, and I'm actually using this as a concealer. Usually people would use this as a foundation, but I don't really like it as a foundation. I like it as a concealer. It is a lot lighter than my foundation, so I put it in kind of the brighter areas of my face, like under the eyes, down the nose, on the chin and forehead, just to kind of brighten up my face. It does make me look a little bit more ghostly, but it adds to the coverage, so I like it. I then use my collection Loose Powder, it, honestly so much powder goes on the brush but I try and cover my whole face with the powder with one swoop because honestly so much product gets picked up and I just mattify the whole of my face and this just makes any powders that I put on top apply a lot better. Now I'm using this bronzer which is from Laval, I picked it up from Amazon, never heard of the brand before, so difficult to open and I just popped that around my face. This actually was in my March favourites which I'll link down below, that was another video for Beauty Week this week and I just love it, it just bronzes up so easily, very pigmented and yeah it really makes me look less ghostly, let's put it that way. Now for blusher, this is a blusher I've had for years, I'm obsessed with it. Honestly, it's the perfect peachy blush shade and yeah, I picked this up from Amazon for like a pound like a good few years ago. Highlighter wise, this is one from, oh I can't remember where that's from, I'll try and leave the name on the screen but yeah, it's just a really nice highlighter and I put that up my cheekbones give that little shine, not too heavy, you know, quite subtle, and then I also like to pop it down my nose as well. Oh yes, and you can see the tan on my hand, nice and dodgy. Now I'm taking the bronzer that I used earlier, and I'm actually going to use this as eyeshadow. I think it looks really nice on the eyes, and it kind of ties everything together. I didn't realise how pigmented it was going to be on my eyes. I was going to go for something a little bit more subtle than this, but I actually quite like how it turned out. And I also popped some underneath my eyes as well. Now for eyebrows, give them a quick brush through with a little brush. And then I'm using my Revolution Pomade with this little brush that I like to wet first to kind of increase the pigmentation. So now I'm doing my eyebrows. Sometimes I go more natural and I don't kind of carve them out, but today I decided to carve them out a little bit more. 
I never get my eyebrows plucked or anything. I literally just draw them in and sometimes dye them. So please excuse them if you don't like my eyebrows. Also, if you can hear a fan whirring, it is my laptop. Just like to point that out. Thank you very much. Now, this is the point in time where I spray my face. And the reason why I do that now rather than at the end is so that my mascara doesn't run. This is one, I believe, from Essence. It kind of gets everywhere, dots go everywhere, it's not my favourite, so I have to go in with a beauty blender and kind of just blend the dots in so it doesn't look too bad. Now for mascara, this is just one from Primark. It is actually kind of running out, it did used to look so much better than this, so yeah, you have to put a couple of coats on of this. I am definitely going to be buying another one, but yeah, this is the stage for mascara. Sometimes I do curl my lashes before beforehand, but not this time. Now for lips, this is my favourite lipstick ever, it's a lip crayon from Beauty Big Bang, they sent it to me ages ago when I worked with them, honestly absolutely love it, I literally wear this every single day. I start by lining my lips with a little brush using that lip crayon and then I simply just fill my lips in with it, I dab it onto my lips because it's so pigmented, I don't kind of swipe it on, I dab and then I blend in with my finger just to kind of get it all slightly blended, a little bit lighter, a bit more natural. And this is what it looks like. Enjoy! that is the end of this video i hope you enjoyed seeing my everyday makeup look please don't judge me for how many products i use i know it is every day but i do just like to apply my makeup and i don't know it's just fun for me doing my makeup is a fun experience and i just really enjoy it so please don't judge me in the comments but without rambling on too much give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it remember to subscribe for more videos this week and for more kind of videos in the future and comment down below anything you'd like anything about the uh, products or anything like that and apart from that goodbye so bye bye